Good morning and welcome to this Batchline educational video. I'm, my name is Patrick Neal and I'm going to talk to you about replenishment, stock replenishment today, or reorder from sales. Um, so this is the really important job of making the right buying decisions to make sure that you have the optimum stock levels for your shop to maximize your sales and minimize your overstocks. Um, and Batchline is a really valuable tool in helping you with that. So we're, we're at the main screen for Batchline and I'm going to take you to the sales screen and this will show you all the books that have sold um, since the last time you, you did, did replenishment or have, have dealt with it. So we've got a number of lines here and um, there's a really, I'm going to digress for a moment, there's a really valuable tool called configuration um, which uh, Batchline has on any grid, grid screen. So you just right click and come down to the configure grid and this allows you to um, tailor make your grid, grid lines the way you want them. So I, I really like this because it means I can put key information right in front of me. So one of the things I really like in the replenishment screen is the customer order um, indicator. So I put a tick against that and that's, that'll show me which books are customer orders. I don't want to look at the ISBN or the EAN as it's known. So I'm gonna untick that. I'm really interested in the publication date of the book and that'll help me with my buying decision where how old the book is obviously all the sales information is really really important so i always like having the shop's total sales um, front and center so i move that right to the top um, i in my shop i have data for over 10 years so i can i can really identify with the total sales figure i can identify really strong core stock so um, that's that's really really valuable it takes a while just to click through but um, you can as I say you can move it to anywhere you want um, I'm gonna put it um, right by the title and then I just click OK and now I've got the screen configured the way I want it so I've got the customer order indicator publication date and obviously the title and the author and the publisher and um, I'm ready to go. So we go line by line and um, uh, we'll, we'll start with the first one obviously and as I said it's a customer order. Um, I can see that I've got one on hand, I can see data here and I've got the, the daily, yearly and monthly sales here and sales for last year. Um, so I can easily make a buying decision uh, if I'm if I'm comfortable just with this line or I, I can just come up to the menu and look at the sales information. So this will give me um, clearer information and I can dig a bit deeper with the sales or I can um, look up the bibliographic information if I want to know more about the book. Um, and the, the cover always helps to remind you, remind you about the book, but there's all the, all the bibliographic information there. And then also you've got your, your stock record. So that's the shop's personal stock and you can just check everything's right about that um, that it's in the right category and that you um, you, you you you're clear you, you, you recognize the book and now I've got to make a buying decision so the quantity to order is what I'm look, looking for as I said I've got um, I've got one on hand and I well I've, I've sold I've sold two um, today so I'm gonna I am gonna order another one um, and then, so I'm changing the quantity. I, actually, I'll just order one. Yes, and I will um, now. I can I can give it a reference. So I'm very honest. So I'm putting my name against it. So I'm I'm going to put my initials, and then I'm going to decide where I'm going to get the book from. Now, if I want the book in a hurry, I can get it from the wholesaler Gardeners, and Batchline will default to that supplier. But I can choose the appropriate publisher to get that book from. But I think I'm going to choose Gardeners. And also there's a dues um, box here. Now recording dues means if they don't have it in stock, um, they will record the order and send it to you when it comes back into stock. So that's quite important because if you um, do that with all of your stock, um, you might accumulate an awful number of titles 
um, and and that will that will obviously affect your cash flow. So you can either record dues uh, by having the tick or or, or not or, or unrecord or have no recorded dues by unticking the box. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna not record dues on this line. So I've ordered one. I've given it a reference and I'm going to order it from Gardeners. I just press return. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next line um, and I, I'm just going to change the reference back to reorder from sales for today's date. Oops. Um, and I'm looking at this particular title again. Now I've got none on hand, um, but I actually uh, sale, I haven't, well, I'll, I'll have sold one um so i'm just going to reorder another one but at this time i'm going to order it from the publisher so i'm going to order it from harper collins so i just find the harper collins uh, vendor name and i and i'm going to record use so i am going to record that as yes if they haven't got it i'll want it as soon as it arrives so yet again i just press return and that's two two books ordered now um the other thing you can do is if uh, you are pleased that you've sold something that's been lying around in the shop for ages so this book was published in 2022 and um, you're very pleased to have sold it uh, then you're just gonna you're just gonna delete that line and there you go and a different color shows you uh, that, that, that it's deleted so I'm just gonna deal with those three lines for now so I'm gonna exit and then I need to select the orders that these books need to go into. So I'm asked by Batchline, do you wish to compile selected items into orders? Yes, I do. So I say yes. And then I've got a couple of options here. I can either create new orders or add to existing. So for the gardener's one, I'm gonna add to an existing order. And um, there isn't a HarperCollins order at the moment. So I will create a new order for that. So that's the replenishment part done, but I'm gonna show you those books sitting in the orders. So I go to orders and if we click on the gardener's bu bucket, there's, there's the reorder for the Stolen Coast and the HarperCollins book is there as well. So I can send the order later on in the day uh, or when, when enough books have accumulated so that I don't get um, charged a minimum order. So that's replenishment um, most simply. Obviously you've got to make the buying decision, but Batchline gives you an awful lot of information to help you. Uh, I hope that's been useful. Please do um, visit the Batchline YouTube channel and register and look for more resources there. And um, I look forward to seeing you soon.